Hey guys, so thanks for joining me for Silhouette Sunday. In this video, I do not have a project to share with you. Instead, I'm going to do a quick overview of the newest version of Silhouette Studio, which is Silhouette Studio version four. Now, this is a beta version of the software that you are looking at, which means it's buggy. Essentially, if you download this version of the software, I'd recommend keeping the old version on your computer as well. And having it available to continue working and designing in because this is a beta version and they tell you outright on the website that this is not supported effectively. So if you have any bugs, you are supposed to submit a feedback form for the bugs that you're finding before it goes out for final release. But here is the new Silhouette Studio. You can see it on my screen and it looks very different and has a new and updated feeling and look. Um, Silhouette Studio hasn't been updated this much probably ever in my opinion it's been subtle differences but this is probably the largest difference that you see here now for this new version other than this updated look we have updated navigation so if you look around you can see that all of the icons have changed so for example on this left hand side of the screen you used to have the design store and your library those buttons that used to be here on the left have moved to this top portion so if you want to go to the design store you click here and if you want to see your actual library of images, you click here. So that is very different. Another thing that's changed in this version of Silhouette Studio is your panels now float. If you have used other um, design products such as Photoshop or Illustrator, you may have seen where you can go and click on buttons and the menus float out. This is the same way. Um, you'll see the button pops out and there's a menu that I can actually move around and you can open multiple menus at the same time, which is very different because in the past, this toolbar here was across the top and you could only have one fly out menu at a time. So that's one of the other changes. The toolbar that's located along the top section here has changed as a result. So like I said, this used to be here up at the top and then this stuff here used to be over here. So everything has completely shifted around. Now there are some other things in here that I'm not gonna go over that have been improved upon. For example, there is new tracing features that you can trace by color and some other um, tracing options such as magnet trace in the designer edition. So overall the look and feel of Silhouette Studio has completely changed. Um, one of those things that has changed that I'm gonna show you quickly is your new project startup options. So when you click file and new to get a new tab, you now get these options where it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna print and cut? Do you want to cut stamping material? Do you want a blank document, a card? It's asking you what you want before you start. Now your default would just be this blank document, but if you don't like searching through the menus, for example, to get registration marks, now it's going to default straight to it. So I'm gonna hit cancel there. And then also what's new in this version is there are tutorials in the help menu. So if you go to help and click here, you'll have the option to go to the tutorials tool, which can be found right here. And you'll see this pop up and you'll have some tutorials for some different um, projects and they're labeled as medium or hard. So this is a quick overview of the new version four of Silhouette Studio. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, for videos going forward until this is officially released, I'll still be using the old version of Silhouette Studio because I need to learn how to navigate this myself. And like I said before, it has some bugs in it. So I'll still be defaulting back to the old versions, which you can see here. I actually do keep older versions installed on my computer of Silhouette Studio just in case. But that's it for me, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.